guys it's your girl miss trina welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here welcome and before you go any further make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of the growing family so let's get into what i got going on today look at here look at here so if you've been on my channel and watching my videos then you know i got into the halloween spirit a little bit I wasn't going to do it at first because I was a little nervous because I never did a Halloween makeup YouTube tutorial before. But I said, hmm, what the hell, Trina, just do it. Just do it. What's the worst that could happen? You can film it. You could not like it. And then you don't have to post it. But at least you can't say that you didn't try. So this is my second one. And I can actually say I think this is my favorite. And I want to say that this is probably my last Halloween YouTube look. So if you guys want to see how I got this beautiful unicorn makeup look, then keep watching. First, I'm going to start off by filling in my brows with this hot pink eyeshadow right here. Um, I'm going to do my brows how I would normally do them. Same technique I've been doing. But I'm really going to pack this color on because I want my brows to be extremely bold. And I want that hot pink color to really show through. Okay, so I'm just about done filling in my brows. I know they look extremely messy right now. But I got a fix for that, and I was jamming, y'all. I was playing my music, and it was just bumping to that, okay? But I'm going to go in, and I'm going to carve out my eyebrows with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. And I'm, as always, I'll have all of the items that I'm using down in the description down below. And I'm just going to carve them out until I get that neat, sharp look, or as sharp and neat as possible. Okay, so I'm just about done with my brows. And I know I normally say my brows take me the longest. It's the longest process out of my whole makeup, but they literally took me forever today. And I think it was because I used the color in my brows. So I had to get them looking as good as possible. So next, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline um, Brow Mascara and clear and I'm just gonna put that over my brows just to bring my hairs back through um, all of that eyeshadow just so it can give it a more natural look now I'm gonna go in with the concealer in a medium beige and I'm gonna apply this all over my lids as my primer for my eyes and then I'm just gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna use a tapping motion and I'm just gonna pat this concealer in all over my eyes and then once I get done patting it in, I'm going to go in behind and set it with the air spun loose powder. For my transition shade, I am going to go into this palette right here. And I'm going to use this lighter pink color right here. If it focuses right there. And I'm going to use that as my transition shade. And I'm going to put this right above my crease but below my eyebrow. And I'm just going to build that color up just to my liking. Now it's time for the crease color and I'm going to go back in with this hot pink shade that I used in my eyebrows and I am going to build this crease color up a lot like I want my crease to be extremely dramatic so I'm going to go in and I'm just going to keep gradually building it up not with a lot of color little by little because if I use too much it's going to be harder to blend out. Now that I've got that crease color in there, I'm going to go back in with this concealer in warm beige and I'm going to cut my crease. Well, I'm going to attempt to cut my crease. Guys, I've been working on this and this is extremely tedious. You just have to use the right brush 
Make sure your brush is extremely flat so you can just get that precise line. And you can cut your crease as high or as low as you like. It just depends on how you want it to look. After I go in with the brush and the concealer, I like to go behind um, after trying to cut my crease with my finger. And I just want to tap in the crease. Not the crease. I want to tap in the concealer as much as possible, getting the excess. Just tap it all in so there won't be any creasing and so the concealer won't kind of show through the eyeshadow here I go I'm singing to y'all I was feeling it I was jamming you feel me <laughs> now for my outer corner part of my eye I'm gonna go in with this purple shade right here and I'm gonna put this in my outer corner V I guess they would consider it and I'm gonna pat this in and build it up I am not gonna blend this up into my crease because I want to keep that pink color as dramatic as possible so I'm gonna pat it in and then just swipe it towards my lid now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna apply my lid color I'm gonna use this sparkly purple shade and i'm also going to use this sparkly pink shade and i'm going to apply the sparkly purple shade first and then i'm going to apply the sparkly pink shade more towards the inner corner part of my eye Then I'm going back in with that blending brush and I'm just going to blend, 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 blend everything together so it's a nice transition and no harsh lines. And then I'm going to go in on the other eye and I'm going to do the same exact thing. Okay, now we have the eyes done. I went in off camera and I did my eyeliner and my lashes. So now it's time to get into this face. I'm going to go in with my LA Girl color corrector, the orange corrector, and I'm going to color correct. Wherever I have dark spots on my face, which is mainly up under my eyes, the size of my mouth, and then I have like a mark on my chin. So for foundation today, we're using one of my all-time favorites, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in Creme Cafe. The number is 211. I'm going to put this all over my face, and then I'm going to go in with my favorite buffer brush, my Morphe M439, and I'm going to just pat this into my skin and blend it out. It's time to conceal up under my eyes and I want to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in a medium beige and I'm just going to conceal up under my eyes and I'm going to drag that concealer all the way up to my winged eyeliner where my eyeshadow is just to clean that up a bit. I'm going to do down my nose, my forehead, my pubic bow, and my chin. Now guys, I do not recommend this foundation for people if you have oily skin. This foundation is extremely dewy. It is perfect for dry skin and I must say it is one of my all-time favorite foundations. Okay, so now that we have that concealer all blended out, we're going to set it with the Airspun Loose Powder to prevent any type of creasing. And guys, I think I love this powder. I gave it a second try. I think when I was using it before, I was using too much, but it is perfect for women of color. I love it. So now it's time for the fun part. We're about to transform ourselves into a unicorn. So I'm going to use this contour and blush palette by BH Cosmetics. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know I talk about this contour powder. And this is the case that it comes in. 
And now you see why I have it in a Ziploc bag. This case is literally falling apart. All of the shades are missing because they fell out and broke. But anyway, I'm going to go in with this blush shade right here with this contoured blush brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to contour my face with this blush. Anywhere that I would normally contour, I'm just going to take this blush shade and I'm going to build it up until I get that desired pink color that I want. Now I'm going to take this hot pink shade, the same shade I used for my eyebrows and in my crease. I'm just going to dab this into a brush and I'm going to apply this to my collarbone, up and down my neck, on my chest a little bit, just so we can get that um, unicorny look. <laughs> you know what y'all, I be making up words. Unicorny, I don't even think is a word. But yeah, I'm just applying this so we can start looking like a unicorn. <laughs> Going back in with that same hot pink eyeshadow shade, I'm going to contour my nose and I'm also going to add that shade to the tip of my nose and I'm just going to keep applying it until I get that pink looking color that I want. I don't want it as deep as my cheeks, but I do want it to be able to show. Then to add the mention to my face, I'm going to go in with that purple shade that I use on my outer corner part, the eyeshadow, and I'm going to add that to the I can't explain it but I'm gonna add it up under um, the pink shade where I contoured it just to give my face some dimension if that makes sense now I don't know about you guys but when I think about unicorns I think about sparkly and I think about pink and purple so I'm going in with this BH cosmetic forever new sculpt and glow palette and I'm gonna use this sparkly pink shade right here and I'm gonna apply this over top of the pink contour just to give my face some sparkle time for my favorite part it's time to highlight and I'm going to use these two shades one's by wet n wild and the other is by Maybelline I am going to go and I'm going to spray my brush with my Mario Badescu spray and I'm just going to swipe my brush across both of these highlighters and I'm going to highlight where I normally would the highest points of my cheeks the bridge of my nose my forehead my pubic bow and my chin Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to carve out these cheeks, honey, because I want this pink contour to pop. I want it to stand out, so I'm going to carve it out with the Airspun Loose Powder. And now it's time for me to apply my jewels. And I got these from Party City. Now guys, this is my third time filming this video. I know, but it was just so much wrong with all the other videos. The lighting wasn't right. This wasn't right. That wasn't right. But anyway, I wish you guys could have seen my first reaction when I opened this. I was so happy to find out that this was already put together my slow behind thought that it was like individual jewels or rhinestones and that i had to place them where i wanted to, them to be myself so when i opened them and found out that it was one piece and i just placed it where i wanted to be i was so freaking happy guys i can see the light at the end of the tunnel we're almost there it's time to apply lips majority of my lip liners are from the beauty supply store the nk auto lip liners i'm going in with this hot pink shade and i'll list the exact shade down below in the description as i will with all the other products that i've used in this video so i'm just going to go in and i'm going to line my lips with this color but then i'm also going to go in behind it with another nk auto lip liner and this is like a deep purple and i'm just going to put this over top of it 
And then I'm going to go in with my Nana Coco shade. This is also a beauty supply lip gloss. And this is also in like a hot pink color. And I'm just going to put this over top of the two lip liner. And I'm just going to pucker, pucker my lips together so we can get all the colors meshing together. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I applied the wig already. I got this wig and my unicorn thingy from Party City. I also used this wig in my mermaid inspired Halloween look. If you guys haven't seen it, make sure you go check it out. And what I'm using on my ears is my mermaid hair accessories. And I got clever and said, hmm, let me use these as earrings. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I had so much fun filming this look. I think it came out so pretty. I was so obsessed with it. I took like a million pictures after I was done filming this. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed recording it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until my next one, deuces.